Welcome Taurus. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. And we will be using the um, Soul Truth, the Seven Energies and the Energy Oracle deck. Sorry about the lawnmower going on. Um, I feel like they've been going on for ages, but hopefully they'll be finished soon. Sure. Anyway, let's have a look here. Okay, so Taurus. Three cards for Taurus, please. One more card. One more card. We've got two. We've got two. We want one more. Taurus. There it is on the floor, of course. To be sure, to be sure. I'll just go and get that. Okay, Taurus, your first card here is, am I focused on what I want most? The next card is, does my life have room for more pleasure and play? The last card is, to whom am I comparing myself right now? Okay, so, sorry, my hair's annoying me. Okay, so this first card here, let's have a look-see. So, am I focused on what I want most? One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. That's Tony Robbins said that. Okay, so the action for you, Taurus. What you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values? Or do I need to make adjustments? Prioritise. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. So that is that one. Okay, so tell me more about this for Taurus, please. Tell me more about this focus. I just want one card. I've got one already. One more card for this card for Taurus. Focusing on what you truly want. Interesting. So this seems to be, for some of you, about money. Okay. We have door to value. And I want to say about this, what is it really, looking at what is it that's truly valuable to you? Because we can see, place so much emphasis on money, monetary things, materialistic things, right? What is really valuable? You know? Is it the money? What is that going to bring you at the end of the day? Is that going to fulfill your heart? And I know a lot of you are going, yeah. But you know, is it though? Because if you have all the money in the world and you don't have any love or anyone in your life to share it with, what's the point? What is the point, right? The door to value. The door to value. You know, to walk through to this happiness. This fulfilling life. Exposed and revealed. Truly looking at what is important to you here, right? Going into your soul. Yeah, awaking the genius within the soul, this higher self to say, what is important, okay? This is a powerful move here, okay? And I feel like, um, I actually feel like for you, Taurus, that this could be to do with love and actually focusing on a per person, that you love because I've never seen this about this card before but there's the king here and chest right and there's this key and I never ever ever seen the queen down here before it's kind of like do you know what it's like it's like stepping on other people to get to the top the other thing I get from this though is seeing things from a different perspective from a higher perspective to see what's important and it's the 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 significant other of your life that's what's important rather than all the money in the world that you could have 
it's the person that you share it with that's important you know yeah we've got a man holding a coin here right this is a new beginning of how how you perceive things but also how you grow things as well you know How do you want to plant that coin? How do you want it to grow? And who do you want to plant it with? Tell me more about man holding a coin, please. Oh, yeah. One more. I just, yeah, I have to take just this one because this is the message about it. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Ears wide open, right? Listen to your heart your instincts, your intuition. Go with what you feel rather than what you think. Okay? Next card here. Does my life have room for more pleasure and play? Okay. In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work? Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild and playful side of you? The action to take here, Taurus. What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of any need to produce anything. Can you do that? This is the million dollar question. Oh, million dollars. <laughs> Funny that that came out through. Um, <clears throat> yeah, really looking at what are you focusing too much of your energy into and what can you focus, <clears throat> excuse me, on more so that you're getting good balance in your life here, right? Okay, so two cards for pleasure and play. right over there and I can't even see what it is curiosity the curiosity Taurus why is my throat going all funny okay two cards I want one card one card one more card please okay excellent let me get this other one okay we've got goddess of the moon the immediate thing I get from this is to go outside and dance under the stars, right? Dance in the moonlight. Connect. There's this connection. There's also things that you can't see. Um, a lot more going on at play that is hidden from you. And it's sort of like you need to get out and have this fun, have this playtime so that you can start to see how free you feel. Because at the moment it's not apparent to you. It's like, why would I do that? What's that going to do for me? Like, it's only going to take time away from me earning more money, you know. But um, I really feel like that's going to help you um, a lot in breaking open, right? Actually opening up here, Taurus, so that you can um, live a more joyous life uh, that has more purpose and meaning to it, okay? Um, we have bearing fruit here. Yeah, see, and I feel as though also this will help you to actually be more productive and bear more, bear, <clears throat> bear more fruit, okay? <laughs> There's something about growth as well. This is going to help you to grow on a soul level going to help you to open up and expand your world okay this is community it's going to help you connect to the community help you experience more things that and and also experience things that you didn't even know you enjoyed trying new things one more card for community please wish upon a star and we've got close encounters. Yeah, see, this is this is 
being locked up in this cage right and not transforming in your life okay and um and i feel like this is kind of bringing out this inner child to come and play you know act like that child be that little kid who wants to go and jump in the puddles and dance in the moonlight and have some fun it's time to come out of the cage now that you've been kept in for so long and potentially you've been keeping yourself in there and it may have just occurred it may not have been something that you've purposefully done it may have who knows but that's beside the point. The fact of the matter is that as you allow yourself out more and more of this comfort zone that you've got yourself in, in this routine, mundane, daily life that is just going over and over and over, like you're on a mouse wheel, right? You're going to realize that you weren't really living life to its fullest. Okay, your life. You weren't living your life to the fullest, okay? So, to whom am I comparing myself right now? What you're able to see in another is only visible because it is it within you, ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and all and want is within you. Okay, the action for today. Today, stop comparing and start creating. Yes, I love that. I love that. And this is it. Maybe this is what that driving force is. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to keep going, right? Um, so, yeah, this reading is going so quick. Okay, so. One more card for this card here for Taurus, please. This comparing card. That's just like, that's just a mess. This is it. I feel like everything's in a jumble at the moment for you, Taurus. One more card for comparing for Taurus. No, that didn't come out the way I wanted it to. One more card. One more card. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got the second chakra archangel ariel so this is about the sacral chakra here okay um making sure that you look have a look on youtube for any meditations to do with the sacral chakra okay um and i feel like this is your center okay and this also i'm just being shown here the belly button right of this is connected to the life force and I feel like there's been some sort of disconnect for you with the life force and um, it's important for you to connect back in okay so this is not about looking at what everybody else has or what they're doing or anything along those lines this is about you and only you okay tell me more about this second chakra for Taurus please Okay, so quietening the mind here. Yeah, really coming down into the heart and birds of a feather. Birds of a feather stick together, right? This is you stepping out of your comfort zone into the community, going out into the community and finding other people to mix with. Because at the moment, the people that surround you, you think they're my people because they've always been there for so long. But in fact, there's something more I feel for you Taurus that some of you may be craving for and you may not feel like it's really you that you fit because maybe you're just so used to that right and there's all these people who you're comparing yourself with and they're not even your people you're nothing like them you're so much more unique and creative and inspirational and exciting yeah so if you quiet in your mind you're going to start to discover these things about you, okay? Okay, so adjacent possibilities here. Okay, so this is looking for different avenues, different things to explore in your life, yeah? So 
so yeah see this is a tall tale here right this is about lies Pinocchio is sitting on top of that hat um, and I feel like this is actually potentially you just lying to yourself that you're happy with how things are because it's comfortable and you've been used to it for so long and and the other thing is that you know it, it could be that you're telling yourself that everyone else has it better um, than you do you know that oh well I just need to go and do this because that will make my life happier because if I have this that and everything else I'm going to feel so much better it's a lie it's a lie it's about going within and discovering yourself from the inside out you can't create yourself from the outside in it begins from the inside out and this is this discovery that you need to make for yourself here Taurus okay the spirit of gratitude being grateful for what you have being grateful for the fact that you're even listening to this that you even have this guidance that you're open enough for this to come through be grateful for your life and what you do have and the fact that you have the ability to make these changes changes be grateful for yourself yeah because you're an incredible person there's just another track for you to go down that might be uncomfortable it might ruffle some feathers and that's okay people will learn from it and secretly deep down be going oh I wish I could do what Taurus is doing right now so yeah Taurus it's time it's time for you to make this transformation and allow yourself to be your authentic self okay okay Taurus I'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye